let's take a look at finding the uh, IQR interquartile range um, using Google Sheets. Uh, specifically, we're going to have raw data. So let me type some data in here. I got 2, 12, 31, 15, 42, 71, 83, 82, uh, 105, 5, and 7. Okay, so um, I'm going to have my Q3 and Q1, and then I'm going to have my IQR here. Now, IQR is Q3 minus Q1. So that's the formula we're going to be using. So first thing I have to get is my third quartile. So I'll come here and click my function. Go down to statistical. You may have to scroll down. And choose quartile there. And I'm going to click and hold down on A1 and drag it through A11. So I don't have to type that in. Comma, 3 for the third quartile. And press enter. Here I'll choose my function and got statistical quartile and again drag Q1 to Q11 comma 1 and press enter. Now here I want to subtract Q3 minus Q1. So I'm going to do an equals. have to have an equals there. Q3 is located in D2 if you look at the intersection of that. So I'll type D2 minus Q1, which is located in D3. And you see the shading up here as you, as you do that. So D2 minus D3 and press enter. And that gives us 67 aligned incorrectly. Um, we left the line out. <laughs> I don't know why that's not consistent. Um, but that's, uh, that's our IQR uh, from, from data. You could do that all in one function. Um, or in separate pieces like you saw me do here.